Hello, Franklin Middle School students. My name is Mr. Miller, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to write a great essay. So I know the situation that many of you are in. You feel like you know what to do. You get home, it's time to write the essay, and then all of a sudden, you don't know how you're supposed to structure it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to read this essay briefly, and we're going to go over the structure, because once you get that formatting done, writing the essay becomes a lot easier. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the question. Write an essay comparing the road to the revolution to the Montgomery bus boycott. The essay should briefly describe each conflict, about four to five sentences about each. Next, the essay should explain two ways there are, they are similar and two ways they are different. Finally, the essay should evaluate why the Montgomery bus boycott ended in peace while the Patriots went to war with Great Britain. Now, if you look at that, it could seem very overwhelming. So my advice would be to break it up into three parts, three paragraphs. You'll do the first part, then the second part, and then the third part, and suddenly it doesn't seem as difficult. So we're going to go scroll down. We're going to take a look at the rubric, uh, which you should have with you. I'm not going to read through the entire rubric, but there are things that it asks you to do in terms of describing, comparing, contrasting, and then evidence citing. And then there's also a section for grammar. So definitely make sure you go through that and use it as a checklist. I'd also advise, if possible, to type this essay. And the simple reason is if there's a mistake, it's a lot easier to just fix your mistakes and hand in a rewrite than to come back and have to write the whole thing again from scratch. So that's just my advice. If you can, I would recommend that you, you type it. All right, so it's a three paragraph essay. What should paragraph one talk about? Well, you're supposed to, in paragraph one, describe each conflict. So sentence one should introduce conflict one. Who was involved? How did it start? What did each side feel? How was it resolved? You go through those four steps, then you go on to the next one. So if you start with the road to the revolution, who was involved? You're, of course, going to talk about the colonists and the British. How did it start? You're going to go review the unit. Uh, what was the problem? And it really starts with that proclamation of 1763 and the Stamp Act. And you can talk about that. What did each side feel? You'll take the, from the British perspective and the colonists' perspective. How did it resolve? That's an easy one. It was resolved with war. It wasn't really resolved. And then you repeat the same thing for the next part of it and you go through the same four steps. All right, you got paragraph one done. The next step is paragraph two. Now you're looking at your similarities and your differences. So the first step is there may be a transition sentence or a new topic sentence to introduce that next paragraph. And you're going to start off just by talking about how they were similar. Uh, you may need to add a supporting sentence if it's not obvious. If it is really obvious how it's similar, one sentence could be enough. Then you go to the second similarity and you repeat that process. Once you're done with your similarities and you add your supporting sentences if needed, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to go to your differences. So you're repeating the process. Uh, the one thing I'll say that's different about going to differences and similarities is make sure you pick two differences. Don't just talk about the same difference twice from the Patriots' perspective and the British perspective, or from the perspective of the people that are looking to end segregation and those that want to keep it. You don't want to pick the same one and use it twice. You want to make sure you're really using two separate differences. Finally, you go to paragraph three. This is the hardest and the longest paragraph. Now is where you're actually citing evidence. So let's go back and look at what it's asking you to do again. And for that third part, what it's really asking you to do is evaluate why the Montgomery bus boycott ended peacefully while the Patriots went to war with Great Britain. So knowing that, we'll go back down to paragraph three. Simple process. Topic sentence talking about why the Patriots ended in war and the Montgomery Improvement Association is able to come up with a peaceful agreement and you have reason one, your evidence, your explanation, reason two, your evidence that you're going to cite from, and you're going to be citing evidence from either the movie, 
or you're going to be citing evidence from what you studied about the road to the Revolutionary War. Evidence three, uh, be careful that your explanation actually explains or expands upon the evidence. You don't just want to repeat the evidence. So you're going to make sure that you're actually explaining it. The other step that you need to do here is make sure that you're using at least one piece of evidence from the movie and you're using one piece of evidence from the Road to the Revolution unit. All right, this is Mr. Miller, and this is just kind of an overview and a format on how to write the essay. Feel free to email me at jsmiller at franklinboe.org. That's jsmiller at franklinboe.org for any questions or concerns about how to actually write the essay. Thank you.